hello everyone so today i'm going to show you how to use nested behavior trees uh, in the enemy for enemy ai system so uh, if i just simulate the game you can see these characters can each other and shoot each other i go into covers flanking like they have they already have some dynamic uh, combat uh, ai so if i show you the behavior tree we have worked on so far here this is the behavior tree we have and this is about to get uh, this would become more complex as we add uh, new behaviors but what I want to do now is try to make try to refactor this basically so make it look more cleaner and so it is easier for us to grasp what's going on here so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna divide this into uh, sub trees and use them so that means here we have this run behavior tree there are two two types run behavior or run behavior tree dynamic so the difference is here i can just assign one with the run behavior and the other one is run behavior tree dynamic so can be assigned at runtime with sign set dynamic subtree so this is static we can't change this as I understand uh, this can be changed so actually I don't see a requirement to have a dynamic subtree so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this shooting behavior I'm gonna create a separate behavior tree for the shooting behavior and instead of this big child node with several sub nodes uh, i'm gonna use that one branch so and also we have a couple of same uh, locations where the ai character search around some given location here this is a surgeon part and this is also the same thing but with two loops so we can if I create a sub tree for this part I can reuse the same tree in both location that would also simplify and that would also make it easier for me to modify and update the code in future right so to create a sub tree let me copy this shooting part I just pressed ctrl C and here let's create another behavior tree I'll call it VT shooting right now I'll press ctrl V that will paste everything I had before and connect it to the root now uh, here in the main uh, tree we can call run behavior and select pt shooting and delete this part see now this is much simpler so we can see the condition already here uh, but if we want to change any of this we can go inside that uh, tree and do the modifications as necessary right the next thing is uh, i'm gonna change this is where the flanking happens so when uh, target actor is not set but still we have a locked actor and this needs to happen three times so but i think we should do this looping outside the tree 
and we can still add the loop outside so yeah let me just copy this this behavior what should i call this this is shooting can we change the name or can we change the tree name itself now oh, there looks like there is no place to change the name right so i'll just name this I can add a comment and click this icon so when I zoom out I can see what it is even though I can't see the text inside so yeah let me copy this again I'm gonna call this flanking Pretty frank. Same as before, control V. Connect to the road. But here I'm gonna remove this loop because I want to be able to control the number of loops that I am going to run this part from the main tree. So here again call run behavior and select pt flanky and I'll move this loop here. Oh, if you don't if you don't have that you can just also add a loop like this as well and get rid of this stuff shall we test just to see if everything is working as usual yeah they are running into covers coming out of covers Planking, yeah, everything is working as usual. Cool. Uh, this is let me add a comment. Planking, but this oh, this is the clearing of blackboard tree. I don't think we should create a sub tree for this part. Oh, this is uh, searching last known position and this is searching of a major thread and this is searching of a minor thread so and this part is same this is search a location but here walking here oh, walking is not relevant to that right uh, so what we can do is this is searching last known location here character don't have to walk uh, don't have to run so that's why I set it to walk in so actually uh, it is enough if I set gate to work in once so let me connect it like this and this part is a sub tray as you can see here get random location and move to we have three things ah wait yeah actually waiting is also fine here waiting couple of seconds in some location before moving to another location to search so right, let me copy this and create another sub tree pt search location here also I'm gonna remove the loop from this part 
because I need to be able to control that from the main behavior tree. Behavior did I rename this? No. Okay. Here, PT search location. Move the loop here. Search location and delete unnecessary parts and as you can see our behavior tree is becoming much simpler actually visually much simpler but we have everything that we had same as before and we need the same search location we need to do control w to duplicate use here actually it should be two loops as I have used in this case. Right. So this is searching for a major thread. This is searching for a minor thread. Mm. For a minor thread also do we have a search? Now we are just going to do noise location wait five seconds and just come back so we don't really have a search in there right what's next so I can't really uh, actually we can reduce this into a subtree yeah I just copied it with Ctrl C. PT search major threat. Search major threat. in minor thread control C <clears throat> such minor thread is missing minor threat I took 
comment as well. And this. Okay, our behavior is much simpler now. Let me auto arrange. See? Hmm. Auto arrange. Better. This is the duty part. That means whatever the character do uh, when he's not in a fight or not searching area or something so yeah let's create one for this two ai behavior free pt duty so actually this could be a dynamic behavior tree because maybe we can have if we have different duties assigned for different characters for now i don't have such a requirement but maybe in future let's look into that can i just drag and drop oh we can't from behavior pt duty Okay, this is so simple behavior tree now with nested behavior trees. Let's test. Let me put another character. Let me make him look away to test if the hearing noise part works. They do. That's why they turn to the side, turn to the direction they heard the noises and participate in the combat. Alright, so things are working as expected and I'm gonna stop this episode right here. Thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.